Atlantic Broadband Cable, in cooperation with the South Union Township Supervisors, presents the South Union Township Sports Network. Today, via tape delay from the Harold Horse Taylor Memorial Gymnasium, home of the Laurel Highlands girls basketball team. It's senior night for the Laurel Highlands girls basketball team as the Laurel Highlands Phillies take on the Mount Pleasant Vikings. Hi, everybody. I'm Dan Wallace with Jerry DePayne. We welcome you aboard for tonight's basketball game. South Union Township Sports Network coverage is brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband Cable, Armstrong Cable, and CUTV with J.R. Wheeler and Gary Smith. I'm Dan Wallace with Jerry DePayne. We'll be right back with the lineups for both sides after these messages. High energy costs eating away at your budget? Turn to the experts and call Fayette Furnace Company Incorporated at 724-438-5400 and ask for George or Mike. Let one of them tell you about Carrier's new green speed technology. Afraid of the cost of installing a geothermal system? Let Fayette Furnace Company Incorporated explain how green speed can help you achieve the same or similar results as geothermal without the same installation costs. Past history shows that the costs of heating and cooling your home are only going to continue to go up and up. Carrier's new green speed systems, when matched to your specific situation, will help you achieve substantial operational cost savings over conventional equipment. Green speed can give you the same or very similar results as geothermal in many different scenarios. Achieve SEER ratings of up to 20 with HSPF ratings of up to 12.5 for your home with green speed. Turn to the experts by calling Fayette Furnace Company at 724-438-5400 and asking for either George or Mike about giving you an estimate for combating the continuing high costs associated with heating and cooling your home. Welcome back on the South Union Township Sports Network to the Harold Horse Taylor Memorial Gymnasium. It's senior night for the Laurel Highlands Phillies tonight. Five seniors will be honored for their final season in a Laurel Highlands uniform. And for this ceremony, we turn it over to the public address announcer, Barry Rosner. Our first senior is Melissa Mustang. Abby has been escorted by her parents, David and 
She's been on the soccer team for freshman and sophomore years. Her club activity is the University of Art Club, Junior Achievement, Power Club football team, Ski Club, and also captain of the basketball team. Her future plan is to attend college with an undecided major. Her thanks goes out to her family, friends, coaches, and teammates for always supporting her. But ladies and gentlemen, Abby McDonald. Sarah is being escorted by her parents, James and Brenda Brown. She's a member of the Laura Island's volleyball team in freshman and sophomore years. Her school activity is as a member of the All County Fayette Basketball. She is co captain she is captain of the basketball team, a member of Junior Achievement, National Honor Society, 4.0 Club, Math Club. Art Club, SAD, member of Power Club football team from junior and senior years, student of the nine weeks, and selected by our teachers to participate in the Congressional Youth Leadership Council for National Young Leaders. Her future plans attend St. Vincent College and major in pre med biology. Her special thanks goes out to her mother, her dad, her brother Josh, her sister Hannah, and her entire family for always supporting her. I'd like to thank her parents, her family, and her friends her coaches and teachers for always helping her become the person that she is today. Ladies and gentlemen, Sarah Proud. Terry's being escorted by her parents, Kalera and Elise Asa. Tally, her sports is also girls volleyball here in Laurel Islands. She's also a member of the stage crew for the theater, and she's also a member of the Color Club football team. Her future plans is to study nursing and hopefully becoming a baby nurse. Her special thank yous goes out to her parents, coaches, and teammates for pushing her and supporting her. Ladies and gentlemen, Centauri Kyle. <laughs> Congratulating our seniors and seniors, our superintendent, Mr. Wallace, our principals, Mrs. Mancini and Mr. Diamond, school board members, Mrs. DeAndrea, Mrs. Ports, Mr. Layman, and Mrs. Beal, also our coaches, Mr. Rydell, Mr. Madison and Ms. Bowers. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a nice round of applause for our senior cheerleader for the basketball players. Thank you again for all the memories they have given us here at Laurel Hounds for the past years and wishing them the best of luck and letting them know that they always have a home with us here at Laurel Hounds. And that is our senior night festivities to the seniors of the Laurel Highlands Phillies basketball team. Ashley Gowder, Easy Abby McDonald, Sarah Proud, Satiri Talley, and Melissa Botchnack. We from the South Union Township Sports Network say congratulations on your careers and in your futures as well. Good luck. We'll take a break. We'll be right back with the starting lineups for both sides on the South Union Township Sports Network.
Good luck to the Phillies basketball team and their coaches this year. From the Phillies Basketball Boosters. Welcome you back into the South Union Township Sports Network. It's now time to take a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Mount Pleasant Vikings under the direction of head coach Scott Giacobbe. His starting lineup looks like this. At guard, a 5'4 junior, number three, Gabby Kiefer. At guard, a 5'7 senior, number 14, Ashley Fear. At guard, a 5'6 junior, number 22, Hannah Hempfield. Also at guard, a 5'5 senior, Number 23, Alyssa Kalp. And rounding out his starting five at forward, a six foot even junior, number 32, Carrie Bungard. We'll take a break. We're right back with the starting lineup for the Laurel Highlands Phillies here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Smith, Lewis, and Chess. Financial Advisors of Uniontown would like to wish the Royal Highlands Phillies basketball team and their coaches on having a successful season this year. Back of the South Union Township Sports Network, it's time to take a look at the starting lineup for the hosting Laurel Highlands Phillies. Under the direction of Ken Rydell, his starting lineup will look like this. All seniors, all five of the seniors will start for the Phillies here on senior night. At guard, a five foot three senior number two, Ashley Gauderisi. At guard, a five foot eight senior number 11, Abby McDonald. At forward, a 5'9 senior, number 15, Sarah Proud. At forward, a 6 foot even senior, number 21, Satiri Tale. And also at forward, a 5'7 senior, number 23, Melissa Bochnak. We'll take one more break. We'll be back with the national anthem and the tip off between Laurel Highlands and Mount Pleasant here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Creditors calling you day and night? Your debt overwhelms you? Although you may feel that you're in a hopeless situation, Zebli Mahalov and White can help. We're a full-service local bankruptcy firm that knows what a difficult time this is and what to do to help you get a fresh start. Call Zebli Mahalov and White today for a free consultation. Your hometown bankruptcy firm. Call us today. Don't borrow more money until you talk to Zebli Mahalov and White. We're back on the South Union Township Sports Network. Mount Pleasant Vikings and the Laurel Highlands Phillies on tap tonight in a pivotal section matchup. Mount Pleasant in second and Laurel Highlands in third. And now for the national anthem and the starting lineups, we turn it over to PA announcer Barry Rosner. <laughs>
time the starting lineups for Mount Pleasant it's Kiefer, Fear, Hempfield, Kalp and Bungard and for the Phillies it is Gaudarisi, McDonald, Proud, Tale and Bochnak all five seniors getting the start here on senior night a big section three matchup in class triple A for girls high school basketball Mount Pleasant they sit in second place at eight and two in the section 12 and seven overall just trailing Derry who is 10 and 1 in this section and the Laurel Highlands Phillies they come into this one 6 and 4 in the section 10 and 3 is their overall record the first time these two teams met this season the Mount Pleasant Vikings they came out on top down in Mount Pleasant with a 55-50 win over the Phillies in that first matchup. Both of these teams have qualified for the postseason so we'll see both the Vikings and the Phillies in the playoffs with this game now just for seeding in section three. Talle in the center circle with Bungard and Kerry Bungard wins the tip over to Kiefer. Right to left go the Vikings. Hempfield looking for Kiefer back across the free throw line out of bounds and the Phillies get their first possession. 
couple notable injuries for Mount Pleasant. Two seniors out of action tonight for the Vikings as Morgan Barlock and Katie Biller will not play, both of them with injuries. McDonald tries to go inside. Botchnack had position, couldn't get to it, but Gautarisi finds it. And she's going to be fouled. That foul goes on Alyssa Kalp, her first foul. Gautarisi the first time anybody reaching the free throw line tonight, and she puts the first one off the back of the rim. Second one for Ashley. She got that one. First points of the night go to the Philly senior, Ashley Gautarisi. In the corner down low, they were looking for Bungard. Mount Pleasant lost it. Abby McDonald comes away with it. McDonald guarded by Kiefer. Off to Proud. She almost lost it, corrals it, gives it, tries to find McDonald, but Kiefer there to take it away. Gabby Kiefer guarded now by Gowder Reese. She got her hands on the ball, gets it down low. Kalp, she can't hit, and Satiri Talley finds the rebound. Finally, somebody down low to match Satiri Talley's side. Carrie Bungard, six foot even as well. And now Sarah Proud with it at the elbow. She looks to drive. She traveled. Coach Rydell was looking for a foul instead. It's a turnover for the Phillies. 6.30 left to go in the first quarter. Lowell Highlands, they just lead at one nothing. Kiefer. She's going to be trapped by Botchnack and Gautarisi. She'll hand it off to Fear. Inside. Cow. Back out. Bungard. She'll take the jumper. And from the corner, Carrie Bungard hits the first bucket of the night for the Vikings. They lead it 2-1. McDonald. She'll pick up her dribble in the backcourt. Gives it off to Talley. She'll give it right back. It's Satiri's getting called for the travel. On the handoff, she walked before she gave it off to Abby McDonald and another bad turnover for the Phillies. Hempfield. In the corner, it's Fear for three. Too strong. Nobody finds the rebound. It goes out of bounds. And right back to the Phillies. Gautarisi, this time she'll handle the ball. Man to man for Mount Pleasant and another turnover. Gautarisi looking for Talley, not on the same page. Fear brings it across, off to Hempfield. Hempfield wanted to go back to Fear. She wasn't there for it. Gautarisi found the loose ball, but Hempfield comes back and recovers it. Kiefer, she's going all the way to the rim. Her shot altered by Talley. She can't finish, and now Gautarisi coming ahead quickly. She'll pull it up, and she'll look to set up the offense for Laurel Highlands. Gautarisi picks up her dribble, off to Botchnack. Melissa has it knocked away. Sarah Proud there to pick it up. Uses that arm to sort of create space, and Abby McDonald went down in a heap. Up ahead, Mount Pleasant. And it's going to be a foul. The bucket's going to count. Alyssa Kalp going to the rim. She scores it, and she's going to get one more. Foul's going to go on Gautarisi. It's going to be her first. Two substitutions. In comes Mia Fuller. Also Kylie Miller. Abby McDonald, she's going to get a little break. So is Melissa Botchnack. It looked like she may have just rolled that ankle. Did Abby. One more for Kalp. And it comes up short. 4-1. The Vikings lead. Five minutes left to go in the first quarter. Kylie Miller with it. Pressured by Hempfield, off to Fuller. She'll fake and drive. Floater in the lane, doesn't go. And the rebound, it'll just go out of bounds. Mount Pleasant, they'll get it right back. Sloppy start so far for the Phillies. No field goals yet. Their only point coming from the free throw line with Ashley Gautarisi. Fuller, 
Tries to go inside. Bungard knocked away, and it's going to stay with Mount Pleasant. Bungard, she'll be the trigger on the inbound. Bungard will find Colleen Trainer, who's in for the first time. It'll go out of bounds off of Mount Pleasant. Laurel Highlands will get it back. It's the first substitution for Mount Pleasant as well as the sophomore Colleen Trainer, the only sophomore on this roster for Mount Pleasant. The rest of the team, juniors and seniors. Fuller with it, trying to go inside. That pass, it's not going to work tonight with the size of Bungard inside. It's taken away. Hempfield off to Trainer. She's trapped by Miller and a steal by Satiri Tale. Gaudarisi up ahead, has it knocked away from behind. Good defense by Ashley Fear knocking it away. It'll stay with the Phillies. Back in comes Gabby Kiefer. She's going to replace Trainer. Miller, she'll be the trigger on the baseline. Looking to go inside. Tale over top of Fear finds it. And we got a foul, a hold. It's going to go against Ashley Fear. Second team foul on Mount Pleasant. Fears first tonight. 4.05 to go in the first quarter. It's still 4-1 Mount Pleasant. Fuller on the inbound. She finds Kylie Miller. Miller, kick out. Gaudarisi, she wants three. Too long. And Satiri Tale, she's going to get a call for the foul over the back. First time we're seeing Satiri Tale this year really have to deal with anybody who can match her size. The six-foot-tall Carrie Bungard causing problems already. Into the zone. 2-2-1 extended goes Laurel Highlands. And a rejection by Satiri Tale, but they're going to call the foul on the body. And just like that, Tale in a bit of trouble. Two quick fouls. That's going to send Gabby Kiefer to the line. Satiri Tale, she can't afford to get into foul trouble. Because then will come Gianna Johns for the first time. If Satiri Tale gets into foul trouble, there's nobody else that can contend with Bungard size. The next closest is Sarah Proud. And there's a three-inch height difference between Bungard and Proud. Second one. That one doesn't go either, but Sarah, she'll find the rebound. Ahead, Gaudarisi puts on the brakes. Off to Kylie Miller. Miller, she'll try to drive to her right. Hand off to Gaudarisi. Right in her face, Ashley Kalp. Fuller to Johns. Sarah Proud, she wants to drive into the paint. Has it knocked away. She gathers it again. Now she's going to be fouled. And if it goes against Ashley Fear, it looks like it will. If it's Fear, that's her second. And there it is, Ashley Fear. She's in quick foul trouble as well with two. 3.25 to go in the first. Sarah Proud to the line for the first time tonight. And Proud, she'll rattle the first one home. 4-2 now, Mount Pleasant. Both of Laurel Highlands points coming from the free throw line. Back in comes Abby McDonald. And we'll see Aubrey Burnick for the first time for Mount Pleasant. Proud the second one. She got it as well. Two from two for the line goes Sarah Proud. It's 4-3 in favor of Mount Pleasant. Hemfield off to Kalp. She wants the jumper from the corner. Off the back of the rim and out. Rebound. Found by Burnick. And Abby McDonald knocks it away from her. McDonald chased down from behind by Kiefer. And now it's with Kylie Miller. Miller pressured tightly by Hemfield. She'll get a screen from Proud. She lost it out of bounds off the line. Another substitution for Mount Pleasant. In the corner, goes inside. Burnick has it knocked away. Sarah Proud comes away with it. She has it stripped from behind by Kalp. And she'll give it off to Hemfield. Down low. Shot rejected. Mia Fuller. It comes out up top, fighting after it. Kylie Miller. Kalp finds it. Comes out to Hemfield. 
Almost an interception there by Abby McDonald. She couldn't find it. Out of bounds. Ball will go back to the Phillies. And Sarah Proud, she's going to be replaced. Back in comes Gautarisi. The Vikings, they still lead it 4-3 to three with 2.26 to go in the first quarter. Gautarisi off to Miller. John thinks she has position, doesn't get the ball. Miller, she's going to try to drive to the rim. Shot altered there by Bungard. It doesn't drop away of a tie-up. Ball's going to stay with the Phillies. Mount Pleasant, they won the tip. They'll get the next one. McDonald, she's going to trigger right on the S there. The Phillies on the baseline. Johns lost the inbound. Bungard there with it. And we've got a foul. Mount Pleasant wanted a tie-up, but it looks like Bungard is going to get hit with her first foul. First foul on Kerry Bungard, fourth team foul on Mount Pleasant. Quickly, Sarah Proud back in the game. She's replacing Mia Fuller. McDonald, she'll inbound, and she has it knocked away. Gabby Kiefer there will bat it right back out of bounds. McDonald will inbound again. Proud wants it inside, has position. Good catch, and she scores. Sarah Proud, the first field goal, six minutes in for Laurel Highlands. They lead it 5-4. Driving inside, Kiefer off the glass. She finishes. First points for Gabby Kiefer. Back in front is Mount Pleasant, 6-5. Inside. Gautarisi finds Johns, but her shot partially blocked. And coming away with it is Hempfield. Off to Kiefer. Right back to Hempfield again. Hempfield looks to drive, and she's met there. Kylie Miller with the foul, blocking foul. Fourth team foul against the Phillies. In the backfield, Hempfield will take it. Off to Kiefer. Right back to Hannah Hempfield on the right wing. Kiefer again. Inside. It goes Hempfield. Dish off. Kalp. Scoop shot. She got it. Alyssa Kalp's got four points. Gautarisi off to Proud. Picks up her dribble. Was trying to find Johns, cut into the basket, pass behind her, and Kylie Miller finds it. 49 seconds to go in the first. Miller, crossover in the lane, hands off to Proud. Thought about the jumper, tried to get it to McDonald, it's knocked away, and it comes away with Kiefer. Hempfield, driving baseline, kick, Kiefer. She looks to drive again, no. Hempfield one more time, she's fouled. Foul's going to go against Sarah Proud. Her first 15 foul on the Phillies. With Mount Pleasant still leading at 8-5. 25 seconds to go in the first. Hempfield, first one too strong. Colleen Trainer back in for Mount Pleasant. Second one, that one doesn't drop either. And there with the rebound, Megan McDonald in for the first time. She's called for a travel. Looked like a lot of contact, but another turnover for the Phillies. As Megan McDonald hit with steps. Inbounding will be Trainer. Off into the corner, it's Hempfield. Right back to Colleen Trainer, down low. That's Bungard. She'll take the jumper right outside the paint. 
and Kerry Bungard hits. 10-5 now the Vikings lead it. 10 seconds to go in the first. Gaudarisi off to Proud. Sarah's going to drive into the lane, knocked away, and she traveled. Another traveling violation called against the Phillies. That's the fourth or fifth here in the first quarter. And now Ple Mount Pleasant's going to get one more chance with three seconds. Inbounds going to come to Hempfield. She's got to put it up from half court. Hannah Hempfield, she hits the partition. That's how we'll go to the end of the first quarter. A low scoring first quarter. The Mount Pleasant Vikings, they lead at 10 5 over the Laurel Highlands Phillies. We'll be back on the South Union Township Sports Network. Esophageal reflux affects 20% of Americans and can lead to heartburn, regurgitation, chest pain, and difficulty swallowing. Reflux is caused by stomach contents passing a faulty valve and entering the esophagus. Ulcers and precancerous tissue can then form. Doctors Ruth Hart, Calabrese, Stokes, and Ballou offer the latest testing and treatment for reflux disease. SWGI, specialists in digestive health. Back on the South Union Township Sports Network, 10-5. The Vikings lead it after one quarter of play. A sloppy first quarter for Laurel Highlands. A lot of turnovers. Got hit with a traveling violation quite a few times. Neither side, though, really able to get anything going in terms of momentum there in the first quarter. As the Phillies, they only had one basket from the field in that first quarter coming with Sarah Prowl. Laurel Highlands are going to extend the zone one more time. 1 2 2 this time for the Phillies. Hempfield. She'll hand it off. Kiefer. Right back. Hempfield again. She wants a triple. Short off the front of the rim and the rebound with Megan McDonald. Up ahead. Her pass was tipped and Kiefer will pull it in. Megan McDonald trying to go ahead a little too quickly. Inside. That's Bungard and she finishes. Four points in the first quarter for Carrie Bungard. She's got six now. 12-5 for Mount Pleasant. Proud. She'll knock it away from Kiefer. Back off to Gautarisi. And Ashley will bring it up out around midcourt. Met there by Trainer. Off to McDonald in the corner. Abby wants three. Off the rim and out. Rebound. Fought for. Therefore, it was Gianna Johns, but it'll come with Hannah Hempfield. Hempfield off to Kiefer. It's Bungard. Too strong in the rebound. Pulled down by McDonald. Up ahead. Good outlet for Gaudarisi. She's going all the way to the rim. And Ashley Gaudarisi finishes. Gaudarisi's got three points. It's 12-7 Vikings. Trainer. She drives in the lane. Up and under doesn't go. Rebound tipped around. Trainer finds it. And we've got a tie-up. Gianna John ties up. Colleen Trainer, but the ball's going to stay with Mount Pleasant on the... No, it won't. They got the ball to start the quarter, so the ball goes back to Laurel Highlands. Gautarisi. She'll start things in the backcourt. Gets a screen from Bochnak. Tries to go inside. Melissa can't find it, and it's taken away by Hempfield. Inside, it's Kalp from the corner. She'll knock down the jumper. Alyssa Kalp now with six points. 14-7. Mount Pleasant doubling up Laurel Highlands. Bochnak off to McDonald. Abby McDonald hand off to Gaudarisi. Ashley, she'll drive. She's fouled in the lane. No shot. It's going to be a baseline inbound. And the foul. Well, we don't have a number 15 in our books. So we'll have to check that for you at halftime. That's who the foul's against. McDonald, she'll be the inbound. Trying to find her sister, Megan. Almost lost it. Megan off to a Melissa Bochnak who can't handle the pass out of bounds. Oh, 
14-7, the Vikings lead it, 5-41 to go in the second. Hempfield to Cal in the corner. Right back out, it's Hempfield again. Fakes, she'll take one step in, take the jumper, doesn't go. Rebound found by Mia Fuller. Fuller off to McDonald, that's Abby. In the corner to her sister Megan. Megan wants a three. It's short, partially blocked. Melissa Botchnack there on the cleanup. First bucket for Melissa. 14-9, Mount Pleasant leads it. Inside. And another bucket for Bungard. Carrie Bungard, she's having her way right now for Mount Pleasant with no Satiri Talley to contend her inside. McDonald gets a scream from Fuller, picks up her dribble off to Botchnack. Gives it off to Sarah Proud. Tries to go over top of Bungard. She can't finish right there. Fighting for it, Botchnack. And we've got a tie up. It's gonna go back to Mount Pleasant. Wholesale substitutions, both sides. Miller, Galderisi, they come in for Laura Highlands. Kiefer, Fear, in for Mount Pleasant. Kiefer, Bungard in the corner. Right back, Kiefer. Another time with Kalp, and now Fear. In the corner, out of bounds. Ball goes back to Laurel Highlands. 4.22 to go in the second quarter. It's 16-9, Vikings. Yadarisi off to Proud with McDonald now, that's Abby. Off to Gaudarisi, Fuller. She'll drive right hand to Gaudarisi. Sarah Proud with it, wanted to go down low. Abby McDonald, an acrobatic catch on the baseline. She'll put it up, and she can't finish. McDonald did a great job just to keep that ball in play. Kiefer, Kalp in the corner for three. And Alyssa Kalp knocks down the triple. Nine points now for Kalp in the first half. 19-9, a 10-point lead for Mount Pleasant. Proud, off to Miller. Back to Gaudarisi. Inside at the elbow, Sarah Proud, she wants to drive. Goes around, Bungard can't finish. And now Bungard will find Kiefer, was almost taken away by McDonald. Fear, back to Kiefer. Fear again in the corner, Bungard. She'll take one step in on the pump fake. She can't hit the jumper. Rebound. Knocked away. Kylie Miller finds it. Miller, she wants to go all the way to the rim. Tries to dish it off to Gaudarisi, and it's knocked out of bounds. Good recovery. Defense there by Gabby Kiefer. McDonald, she's going to be the trigger on the baseline. She tries to find Proud. It's taken away. Ashley Fear on the ground after it. A good steal there by Ashley Fear. Now up ahead, Kalp might have numbers. Going to the rim. Kalp can't finish. And it goes out of bounds on the rebound. Last touch by Mount Pleasant. Alyssa Kalp, she couldn't find the finishing touch, and we're going to have a timeout. Timeout called by Laurel Highlands. Mount Pleasant, they lead the Phillies by 10. It's 19-9 with 2.51 to go in the second quarter. We'll take a break and be right back on the South Union Township Sports Network. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad because people are busy these days at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. Back on the South Union Township Sports Network from the Harold Horse Taylor Memorial Gymnasium at Laurel Highlands High School. The Mount Pleasant Vikings off to a good start in the first half. They lead the Phillies 19-9 with 2.51 to 
to go in the second quarter. Laurel Highlands, they haven't found their rhythm yet tonight. Haven't found the shooting touch. Only six points coming from the field. Now the press being put on by Mount Pleasant. McDonald, she'll break the timeline. And has it knocked away by Fear. Up ahead. Dishoff, a beautiful find to find Gabby Kiefer, but we got a foul before the shot. It's going to go against Abby McDonald trying to get back. First foul on McDonald, the 16th foul on the Phillies. Back in, it'll be Hannah Hempfield. Baseline inbound with Bungard. In the corner, Hempfield. She'll drive. Puts up a shot in the lane, doesn't go. Rebound found by Kylie Miller. Miller, dish off. It's Fuller. Brings it back out top with McDonald. Abby McDonald wanted to go inside to Gianna Johns and overshot her. Out of the reach of Gianna Johns, another turnover for the Phillies. Hemfield, she'll bring it across. Phillies back into man-to-man, -man, crosses over Gautarisi, and Hemfield has a clear lane to the bucket, can't finish though. And it goes out of bounds, last touched by Mount Pleasant. Hannah Hemfield, she had a clear lane to the bucket, couldn't finish the layup. There might have been a little bit of contact there on the arm, no call, and the Laurel Highlands Phillies will get the ball back. Miller, she'll drive into the paint, all the way to the rim, doesn't finish. And Bungard there for the rebound, but her outlet pass taken away. Abby McDonald, she takes a fadeaway shot and knocks it down. First bucket for Abby McDonald. Up ahead, wide open. It's Kalp, and Alyssa Kalp underneath finishes. 11 points tonight for the Mount Pleasant senior. 21-11, Mount Pleasant leads it. 120 to go in the second. Gautarisi all the way to the rim, she's fouled. Aggressive move trying to get to the bucket by Ashley Gautarisi. And the foul, that one's going to go against Kalp, her second. Gautarisi, one of two from the line tonight. And she hits the first one. Another substitution for Mount Pleasant. Since we don't have a number on 15 either, we'll get that for you at halftime. Gautarisi, the second one. Ashley hits them both. Three or four from the line tonight is Ashley Gautarisi. And a steal. And going right back to the line, Ashley Gautarisi is going to be there again. Foul, that one's going to go, it looks like. And they're trying to call it on two. There is no two on the court. It looked like it was against 15. And there it is, second on 15. The Gautarisi right back for one and one. Rolls home the front end. 21-14 now. The Vikings up by seven. Gautarisi the second one. And that one's off the front of the rim. And the rebound found by Kiefer. Trap now coming. And she gets it up ahead to Fear. Wide open, Hempfield. She looks to drive on McDonald. Fouled from behind by Gautarisi. Has actually got a bit of the arm. And one and one, it's going to be Hannah Hempfield going to the line. Gautarisi, that's her second foul. Field. She'll knock down the front end. She was 0 for 2 the first time to the line. 
So make her one of three now. We've got another substitution, another number we don't have, 42 checking in. Second one for Hemfield, she got that one too. Hannah Hemfield gets them both. She's got two points tonight, and the Vikings lead it 23-14 with just under a minute to go. Proud, pick and roll, and she's fouled. Sarah Proud got on the line for two. And our mystery 42 is going to get hit with her first foul. Proud. She hits the first one. Sarah was already two of two at the line tonight, so three of three. As back in comes Megan McDonald for Laurel Highlands. And for Mount Pleasant, it's Aubrey Baranek. Proud rolls home the second one. Sarah Proud, six points for her tonight. Hempfield looking to break the press ahead. Mount Pleasant. A three, it's too strong. And out of bounds, Laurel Highlands now will get it back. 44.1 to go. Gaudarisi, she comes back in, replaces Mia Fuller. <laughs> Kylie Miller, she'll handle the ball. Miller gets a screen from McDonald, Abby McDonald. Brings it, brings it back out top, tried to dish it off to Gaudarisi, and Hemfield takes it away. Hannah going all the way to the rim herself. Can't find the shot. Rebound, we're gonna tie up. Ball's gonna go back to the Phillies. 20 seconds left to go in the second quarter. The Vikings lead at 23-16. Inbound to Gattarisi, the press back on. Up ahead, proud. Sarah lost it almost, off to Gattarisi. She wants a three. Front iron, no. But Gattarisi fighting for the rebound. Megan McDonald finds it, she puts up a shot. It's partially blocked, five seconds to go. Mount Pleasant finds it, Kiefer. And Megan McDonald, a bad foul, well away from the basket. Megan McDonald hit with the block. And that's going to put Mount Pleasant with a chance to put two more on the board from the free throw line with 2.8 to go. Colleen Trainer, she's back in now. The Gabby Kiefer 0 for 2 from the line tonight is going to get a chance at 1 and 1. First one, Kiefer and hits it. We get one more. 24-16, the Vikings lead. Second one. Kiefer got it as well. She goes two for two this time. She's got four points on the night. Two seconds for her. Laurel Highlands, Gaudarisi. Nothing doing. That's how we go into halftime. A 15-point quarter from Mount Pleasant. Laurel Highlands, they put 11 on the board, and they trail it by nine. It's 25-16 Vikings as we hit the midway break. We'll take a break. We'll be back with some halftime stats for you here on the South Union Township Sports Network. High energy costs eating away at your budget? Turn to the experts and call Fayette Furnace Company Incorporated at 724-438-5400 and ask for George or Mike. Let one of them tell you about Carrier's new green speed technology. Afraid of the cost of installing a geothermal system? Let Fayette Furnace Company Incorporated explain how green speed can help you achieve the same or similar results as geothermal without the same installation costs. Past history shows that the costs of heating and cooling your home are only going to continue to go up and up. Carrier's new green speed systems, when matched to your specific situation, will help you achieve substantial operational cost savings over conventional equipment. Green speed can give you the same or very similar results as geothermal in many different scenarios. Achieve SEER ratings of up to 20 
with HSPF ratings of up to 12.5 for your home with green speed. Turn to the experts by calling Fayette Furnace Company at 724-438-5400 and asking for either George or Mike about giving you an estimate for combating the continuing high costs associated with heating and cooling your home. Time on the South Union Township Sports Network. The Vikings leading Laurel Highlands Phillies 25-16 at the midway break. We got some halftime stats for you now. We start with the visiting Mount Pleasant Vikings leading the way for them. Alyssa Kalp, the senior, 11 points for her in the first half. Four of those coming in the first, seven of them coming in the second. She's followed up by the big six-foot Carrie Bungard. Eight points for her in the first half. Gabby Kiefer, she chipped in four. And Hannah Hempfield, she had two as well. That's how the Vikings got to 25. Four of nine from the free throw line was Mount Pleasant. And no serious foul trouble. A couple girls with two fouls. Ashley Fear with two. Alyssa Kalp with two. And Julianne Kalp, there's your mysterious number 15. We found a couple of them, Jerry. We found a couple of those numbers. We got Julianne Kalp. She's wearing 15. It's Josie Benteler. She's wearing 12. Chloe Jaworski's wearing 42. We have... A couple other 
uh, Mount Pleasant girls who have not gotten in the game. We got their numbers as well. Addie, number 24, she did get in the game. Addie Kubaski, she's wearing number 24. Maya Keljic is wearing number 11, and Ann Shinsky is wearing 45. There's all the mystery numbers that weren't on our roster to start the game. Now the stats for Laurel Highlands on the other side. Leading the way in points, we have a tie. Six points apiece for Sarah Proud and Ashley Gowderisi. Melissa Bochnak, she chipped in two points, and Abby McDonald, she had two as well. That's how the Phillies got to 16 in the first half. Eight of ten from the free throw line. So only four buckets for the Phillies in the first half coming from the field. And a little bit of foul trouble, not much. Ashley Gautarisi with two. The big story in the first half was Satiri Talley. She picked up two early fouls in the first quarter, sat the rest of the first quarter, did not play at all in quarter number two. And in danger of picking up more fouls and no points for her in the first half. The leading scorer this season for the Laurel Highlands Phillies held scoreless in that first half. We'll take one more break. We'll be back with the start of the second half between the Mount Pleasant Vikings and the Laurel Highlands Phillies. Vikings leading at 25-16 at the break on the South Union Township Sports Network. Smith, Lewis, and Chess, financial advisors of Uniontown, would like to wish the Royal Highlands Phillies basketball team and their coaches on having a successful season this year. Welcome back on the South Union Township Sports Network. Coming out of halftime, the Mount Pleasant Vikings leading the Laurel Highlands Phillies 25-16 as we get ready to start quarter number three. Dan Wallace with you. Jerry DePay on the camera tonight. The, the Mount Pleasant Vikings, they'll come out to start the second half with Fear, Alyssa Kalb. It's Bungard, Kiefer, and Hempfield. They're starting five for the Phillies. It'll be Megan McDonald, Ashley Gautarisi, Sarah Prout, Satiri Talley, and Abby McDonald, the five out on the floor. Kalp gives it off to Hempfield. Back to Fear. Kiefer wants to go right back to Fear. Kalp again. 11 points. Lee led all scores in the first half. Satiri Talley back in there, immediately gets a rejection. Kalp, she'll find it though. Right back out. Kiefer driving to the bucket. No. And Talley finds the rebound. Up ahead, Gautarisi. She's got McDonald with her. Stop and pop, doesn't go, and the rebound comes with Hempfield now back the other way, but she lost it. Anna Hempfield just lost the handle on it. The ball goes back to the Phillies. Abby McDonald, she'll be the inbounder. Off to Gautarisi. Skip across. Megan McDonald inside looking for Talley. Knocks out Kalp. On the floor, tie up. Alyssa Kalp found it on the ground. Gautarisi tied her up, and the Phillies will keep the ball. Abby McDonald, she'll trigger from the baseline. Finds Proud to Gautarisi. Off to Abby McDonald in the corner. She wants three. Can't hit. Megan McDonald there for the rebound. Goes underneath for Proud. It's knocked away. Last touch by Ashley Fear out of bounds, and the Phillies will keep it. Laurel Highlands, they got to get something going offensively. Only 16 points in the first half. Inside, Talley spins, knocked away. Good hands by Hannah Hempfield. Alyssa Kalp will come forward with it. Off to Hempfield. Thought about the jumper. Pumps instead. Gives off to Kiefer. Her short jumper doesn't go, and Gautarisi finds the rebound. Quickly ahead. Ashley Gautarisi. She'll run over. Fear, no call. And the rebound fouled by Hempfield. One guard in the corner. She looks to drive. Gautarisi there to meet her. Back to Hempfield. She gets into the lane. Fight with it for, fight for it with Talley. And the Phillies come away with it. It's McDonald, Abby McDonald. She has Hempfield sneaking up behind her. Gautarisi now. She'll drive inside and Ashley Gautarisi finishes. Eight points for the Phillies senior. Hempfield. Here goes baseline. Kick out Kiefer. Right back. Hempfield again. Proud there to meet her. Back out, Kiefer one more time. 
to fear. And now Bungard, she wants three. And it comes up short, rebound with Abby McDonald. Up ahead, the quick outlet. Gaudarisi running with Megan McDonald all the way to the rim. Gaudarisi, a lot of contact, no call. Hempfield, she'll save it on the baseline to Kiefer. And up ahead comes Mount Pleasant. Kiefer, lay off to Fear. Hempfield, almost lost it, has to save it. And Fear there to corral it. Bungard, back to Fear. And now it's with Hempfield into the lane. Met by Talle. And Hempfield finishes over top. Satiri so Talley met Hemfield at the rim, but she still got the finish anyway. She's got four points. The Vikings lead at 27-18, and we have a timeout. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. 5.43 to go in the third on the South Union Township Sports Network. Just sit right down and you hear a tale, a tale of a fateful call. You better pay those bills right now or you take a mighty fall. He really didn't know what to do, so he turned to those who did. Zeppli, Mahalo, and White, your bankruptcy crew, your bankruptcy crew. So no matter how deep in debt you are, if your back's against the wall, Zeppli, Mahalo, and White, just give them a call. We're back on the South Union Township Sports Network. The Mount Pleasant Vikings, they lead it by 9, 27-18 over the Laurel Highlands Phillies. It's senior night here at the Harold Horse Taylor Memorial Gymnasium. And the seniors so far tonight for the Phillies haven't found much offense. 5.43 to go in the third. Gautarisi proud, Talle, McDonald, and McDonald. Both the McDonald sisters out for the Phillies. Megan McDonald off to Proud. Inside looking for Tally. And Bungard there with her size to knock it away again. Kiefer, she'll slow it up for Mount Pleasant. Looks to step inside. She'll give it off. It's Julianne Kalp. And Kalp will bring it back up top off to Bungard. She'll find Fear. Pressured by Gautarisi. Kiefer in the corner. This one's Alyssa Kalp. Kiefer back to Alyssa Kalp again, and she'll give it off to Julianne Kalp. Bungard. Kiefer again. Good ball movement by Mount Pleasant. Julianne Kalp wants the jumper. Doesn't fall. And the rebound with Sarah Proud. Up ahead, Gaudarisi. She's got Talley with her. Gaudarisi driving to the bucket herself. A lot of contact. No call. Out of bounds. It's going to stay with the Phillies. And a substitution. Mount Pleasant. Is in is going to come Taylor to Carrillo. First time we see her tonight. McDonald. She'll be the trigger on the inbound. Looking for Megan. Talley runs into her, and because of that, she's going to be called for the travel. Contact there. Satiri Talley went to the ground. Megan McDonald, too, grabbing at her knee a little bit, wearing the big knee brace on her left knee. And Mia Fuller's going to come in. She's going to replace Megan. Full court pressure now, 2-2-1 two, two, for Laurel Highlands. <laughs> Alyssa and Julianne Kalp working it up the floor. This one's Alyssa Kalp to the rim. Her shot altered by Talle, and coming away with it, Abby McDonald. Up ahead, Gautarisi can't handle it. She corrals it, and she's going to be fouled. A lot of contact with Alyssa Kalp. Gautarisi, good to see her get up quickly. Incidental contact. Because we're going to have a substitution. Back in comes Hemfield. Back in comes Trainer. That's three fouls there. That's a big foul. Third on Alyssa Kalp, the leading scorer for Mount Pleasant. McDonald inbound. She has Proud. And she finds her. Right back, Abby McDonald gets it. McDonald looks to drive to her right. Picks up her dribble in the corner. Off to Gautarisi. Has Talley inside with position, knocked away. And coming away with it, Hemfield, Mount Pleasant. They're doubling up Talley every single time that ball goes inside. Now driving to the rim, Trainer, her shot, late foul call. Looked like a lot of ball there for Mia Fuller, but instead, Colleen Trainer, she's going to the free throw line. A late whistle on the foul call.
Trainer, her first trip to the line tonight. And Colleen hits the first one. Ten point lead now for the Vikings, 28-18. Second one for Trainer. And it rolls out, Talley finds the rebound. Outlet Sarah Proud. Proud, she has it knocked away by Hempfield, but Abby McDonald right there to recover it. McDonald will put it on the floor. Behind the back dribble, gets a screen from Talley, rolls to the basket. She's triple teamed this time inside, hands off to Fuller. Back out McDonald. She looks to drive to the rim and she's fouled. Abby McDonald's going to the free throw line. This foul goes against Julianne Kalp, so the other of the two Kalp sisters, now she has three fouls. McDonald at the line for the first time tonight. She's got two points on the game, and she can't hit the first free throw. Second one coming for McDonald. That one's off the back of the rim and out, and the rebound found by Hempfield. Tied up for a second by Proud, but she got away. Up ahead quickly. Kiefer going to the rim. Met by McDonald. She's going to be fouled. Abby McDonald got her with the body. Second foul on Abby McDonald tonight. Kiefer, two of four from the line. And she hits the first of two. Back in comes Ashley Fear. Kiefer now with a second one. She got them both. Four of six from the line tonight. Gabby Kiefer's got six points. 30 to 18, Mount Pleasant leads it to 3.23 to go in the third. Inside, Talley can't find the bucket. Rebound, fought for, and McDonald comes away with it. Abby off to Mia Fuller. Inside, proud at the elbow. She turns and fires, doesn't find the rim. Talley there on the rebound, put back, no. And coming away with the rebound is Ashley Fear. Hempfield gives off to Kiefer. Hempfield again, make that Fear. Now Bungard, trainer, had it knocked away by Talley. And in her face, Abby McDonald. And an extremely late foul call again. Looked like McDonald had her hand on the ball and Trainer just fell over in the corner, but Abby McDonald now called with a third foul. Inbounding from the sideline is gonna be Kiefer. And all the way into the backcourt, she finds Hempfield. Off to Fear. Across, knocked away, the pass. Fuller got a hand on it. Now Gaudarisi looks to go to the rim. And Ashley Gaudarisi lays it home. Timeout called by Coach Rydell. He wants to talk things over. The Phillies, they still trail it by 10. It's 30 to 20 in favor of Mount Pleasant. 2.31 to go in the third. We'll be right back on the South Union Township Sports Network. Colon cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths. Signs include abdominal pain and rectal bleeding. Colon cancer develops from a degenerating benign growth or polyp. Doctors performing colonoscopy are able to remove precancerous polyps, thus preventing colon cancer. This saves lives, and the American Cancer Society now recommends that everyone have a colonoscopy every 10 years, beginning at age 50. Doctors Ruth Hart, Calabrese, Stokes, and Ballou offer the latest diagnostic testing, SWGI, Specialists in Digestive Health. We're back on the South Union Township Sports Network, third quarter, 2.31 to go. The Mount Pleasant Vikings, 10 points. They lead it by 30 to 20 over the Lower Highlands Phillies. A little bit of pressure being put on by Fuller. She's going to face guard Hempfield with the ball inbounded to Kiefer. 
It's Fear with it. It's a box and one now with Fuller tightly guarding Hempfield. Off to Kiefer. She looks for Hempfield again. Gets it off to her. Hannah Hempfield around. Gives it to Kiefer. She'll find Fear. It's Bungard in the corner. Back out, Kiefer at the top. One more time, Bungard, she wants to drive. Takes the jumper from the corner, off the back of the iron and out. Rebound, found there by Kubaski. She can't finish, Bungard again, no. And Talley comes away with the rebound. Quick outlet, she finds Ashley Gattarisi. 1.40 to go in the third. Gattarisi, she'll hold it. Looks to go to her left, to Talley. Back to Gattarisi, proud. She wants to drive. Kick out Gautarisi. Back into the middle. Sarah Proud. She gets to the rim. Can't finish the layup. But Satiri Talley with the rebound has it knocked away. Back in comes Alyssa Kalp with those three fouls. She's going to replace Addie Kubaski. Inbound on the baseline, it'll be Kylie Miller. She finds Mia Fuller. She pumps and drives. Look to go to Proud, overshot her, and Gautarisi finds it. <laughs> Ashley, guarded tightly by Alyssa Kalp. Looking to find Talley going to the basket. She's fouled, and Satiri Talley is going to get a chance for her first points tonight from the free throw line. Foul goes on Ashley Fear. It's the first, they make that the third foul on Fear tonight. Talley, first free throw, too strong. Back in comes Melissa Bochnak. Not yet, she's coming in for the shooter. Out will come Fear, in will come Colleen Trainer. for Mount Pleasant. Second one, Talley off the front of the rim, too short. And Alyssa Kalp there for the rebound. Trainer tries to go to the rim. Lost it. She traveled. And now Melissa Bonchnack, she'll check in. She's going to replace Talley. Megan McDonald, she's going to come in for Mia Fuller. And another substitution is Chloe Jaworski comes in from Mount Pleasant. She's going to replace Trainer. 55 seconds for Ashley Gautarisi and the Phillies to work with. Off to Miller. Right back to Gautarisi. Proud. Sarah off to Megan McDonald. She wants the three. McDonald, a good shooter, knocks it down. A big triple Megan McDonald hits. It's a seven-point game. Mount Pleasant up ahead. Kylie Miller, she knocks it away. Gautarisi, 27 seconds. Ashley all the way to the rim, tried to hand off to Megan McDonald. Should have just taken it herself. And now coming ahead is Kiefer. Gautarisi, good recovery speed, getting back. Kiefer to the rim. A foul, and it looks like it's going to be before the shot. No, they're going to count the bucket. And Kylie Miller, that looked like a little bit of a continuation to me. As it looked like the foul was on the floor, they're going to give her the bucket anyway. Kiefer finishes. She's got eight, and she's going to the line for one more. Kiefer can't hit the free throw, and Proud finds the rebound. 14 seconds to work with for the Phillies. Gautarisi picks up her dribble. Miller gets across midcourt. Kylie Miller going to the rim. She's fouled and won. Beautiful drive and score. Kylie Miller, she takes the contact. She gets fouled. She's going to the line. First foul on Hannah Hempfield. It's a seven-point lead, 32-25 for the Vikings. Kylie, she can cut it by one more with a free throw here. Miller can't hit. Two seconds. Kalp, she's got to put up a shot from just in front of midcourt. Doesn't hit, and that's how we end the third. One more quarter to play from the Harold Horse Taylor Memorial Gymnasium. The Phillies trail at 25-32 here on senior night to the Mount Pleasant Vikings. We'll take a break. We'll be right back with the fourth on the South Union Township Sports Network.
Good luck to the Phillies basketball team and their coaches this year from the Phillies Basketball Boosters. One more quarter to go between Mount Pleasant and Laurel Highlands on the South Union Township Sports Network. The Phillies, they trail at 32-25 to Mount Pleasant. Hempfield, she'll get the inbound as she's out there to start the quarter with Kalp, Kiefer, Jaworski, and Bungard for Mount Pleasant. For Laurel Highlands, it's Gowder Reese, Megan McDonald, Mia Fuller, Proud, and Talley. And now the three. Hempfield can't hit. Mia Fuller finds the rebound taken right away by Alyssa Kalp. She goes right back to the rim, doesn't finish. Jaworski foul from behind. Sarah Proud on the contact there. Proud, she's going to get hit with her second foul. And Jaworski is going to get her first chance from the line tonight. First one for Chloe Jaworski off the left side of the rim and out. One more. Jaworski can't hit that one either, and Talley finds the rebound. Proud. She'll give it off to Megan McDonald. Gaudarisi. Back inside looking for McDonald. It was out of her reach and coming away with the keeper. Wide open. Bungard for three. Can't find the shot. And now another chance. Jaworski's going right back to the line. Fouls going against Sarah Proud, and that's her third. So two quick fouls there against Sarah Proud. She's got three. Phillies six as a team in the second half, and that one Jaworski knocks down. One more coming for Chloe Jaworski. She got that one as well. Two points tonight for Chloe Jaworski. She checks back out. Back in comes Julianne Kalp. Gaudarisi, she's got to get it across midcourt. She'll break the timeline. Finds Mia Fuller inside. Satiri Talley. Bungard to her back. Turn. Shoots. Doesn't find the shot. But Gianna Johns there with the rebound, and she's fouled. That foul is Alyssa Kalp, and that's four on the Vikings' leading score. Johns, too short on the first one. Back in is Addie Kubaski. Johns, second one. And Gianna Johns got that one. One of two from the line. She cuts this lead by one. It's 34-26 Phillies. No, they're not going to count it. They're going to say she crossed the line. So the basket's no good. The free throw doesn't count. And the lead stays at nine for Mount Pleasant. Pressure put on by the Phillies. Trap Julianne Kalp. And we've got a tie-up. Phillies, they'll get the ball right back. Megan McDonald, she'll check in. She's going to replace Fuller. Six fifty-six to go in the fourth quarter. Kylie Miller on the inbound. Finds Gaudarisi. Ashley into the paint. She was tripped. We're going to call a blocking foul, but Gaudarisi was tripped, and that's going to go against Hempfield. Second foul on Hannah Hempfield. Back in comes Abby McDonald. She replaces Gianna Johns. Abby McDonald will inbound from the baseline. Finds Kylie Miller. She wants three. 
Miller too strong, tipped around, out of bounds, last touch by Satiri Tale. And right back in comes Mia Fuller's Coach Rydell playing offense, defense with Megan McDonald and Mia Fuller. Pressure now from the Phillies. Kiefer will be the inbound. She finds Kubaski, and right there, May Abby McDonald to take it away. McDonald to Gattarisi. She wants three. Off the rim and out. Kylie Miller finds it. She'll pull it back out. Miller spins, goes to the rim. Over top of Bunt guard. Contact, no call, and Hempfield comes away with the rebound. Out of bounds. Ball stays with the Vikings. Pressure again coming from the Phillies. As the inbounds will find Julianne Kalp and right there for the steal. Kylie Miller throws it off a Kiefer out of bounds. The Vikings struggling with that Phillies pressure, but they still hold a nine point lead. Kubaski comes out, Trainer comes back in. Abby McDonald will inbound. She finds Gaudarisi. She's left open for three. Ashley can't hit, but the rebound found and a push on Satiri Tale. That's going to be the third foul on Satiri Tale. Back in will come Mia Fuller. And that'll be one and one on the other end for Colleen Trainer. Trainer is one of two from the line tonight. And she hits the front end. Second one, Colleen Trainer. That one rolls home as well. She got them both. Three points for Colleen Trainer. It's 36 25 for Mount Pleasant. Miller fouled. And another foul on Hannah Hempfield, her third. Kylie Miller, that foul on the floor, but she's still going to get one and one. Back in comes Sarah Proud. She'll replace Mia Fuller. One and one for Kylie Miller. Oh, for one from the line tonight. And she hits the first one. Second one for Miller. She rolls that one home as well. She got them both. Did Kylie Miller. She's got four points tonight. The Vikings, they lead it by 9, 36, 27. Trap again by the Phillies. Out of bounds, off the foot of a Philly. Mount Pleasant will keep it and they'll have to inbound again. Inbound. They find Hannah Hempfield. Kylie Miller there for the trap. McDonald. It finds Kiefer. Up ahead. They break the trap. Colleen Trainer. Bun Garden corner. She looks to drive. Over top of Satiri Talley. Can't find the rhythm. And now Gaudarisi comes ahead. She'll slow it back up off to Kylie Miller. In the corner, Gattarisi, wide open for three. And it's short. Rebound, fought for, Kylie Miller on the tie-up. She's in there with Julianne Kalp. And Mount Pleasant will get the ball. Pressure back on again for the Phillies. And Mount Pleasant wants a timeout. 5.49 to go in the fourth corner. The Vikings lead it, 36-27. We'll be back. After this on the South Union Township Sports Network. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad because people are busy these days at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service from a person you know 
and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. Southwestern Endoscopy Center is a state licensed and Medicare certified facility and emphasizes privacy, comfort, caring, and safety for colonoscopies and upper GI endoscopies. Painless procedures are done with twilight sedation given by a board certified anesthesiologist. The center accepts most insurance plans and is staffed by Drs. Ruth Hart, Calabrese, Stokes, and Ballou. SWGI, specialists in digestive health. We're back on the South Union Township Sports Network. 36-27, the Mount Pleasant Vikings lead the Laurel Highlands Phillies. 5.49 to go in the fourth quarter. Both teams in the bonus. Seven fouls aside. We're shooting one and one the rest of the way. Inbound. It comes. Julianne Kalp. She's trapped. A, a foul called on Kylie Miller. Not much contact there at all. Looked like they had the tie up. And Kylie Miller is going to be called for her second foul. And they're going to send Julianne Kalp to the free throw line for one and one. Kalp, no attempts tonight. And she hits her first. She'll get the second one now. 37-27, Vikings lead it. Second one for Kalp. Comes up short, Abby McDonald finds the rebound. Phillies have to make up 10 points and they have 540 to do it. McDonald, she wants to go all the way to the rim herself, a lot of contact offensive foul. Full head of steam for Abby McDonald. Went right into the Viking defender, and now that's four fouls against McDonald. Pressure again for the Phillies. Inbound. It'll be Hempfield. Proud. She'll knock it away. Kiefer there for it. Up ahead. Bungard lays it off the glass. No. Kiefer again. She's fouled. This foul is going to go against Sarah Proud, and that's four now on Proud. <laughs> Kiefer, she'll hit the first. She's now five of seven from the line tonight. Make that five of eight. Second one. Kiefer can't find it. And Sarah Proud comes away with the rebound. Up ahead quickly. Proud, she wants to go all the way to the rim. Lost it. And a hit off a knee of a Mount Pleasant Viking. <laughs> Laurel Highlands, they'll keep it. Chloe Jaworski comes back in. Fuller, she'll be the inbounder. Finds Proud. Miller in the corner. Fuller. She wants a triple, too strong. Tipped, last touch, Satiri Talle knocked it out of bounds. And once again, full court for Laurel Highlands. Hempfield, she'll inbound. Tipped, last touch, Julianne Kalp out of bounds. The Phillies get it back again. Mount Pleasant having a lot of trouble with that pressure from Laurel Highlands. Megan McDonald, she comes back in. Kylie Miller will inbound. Finds Gautarisi. She goes baseline. Her layup doesn't go. Tipped around. Last touch. Mount Pleasant out of bounds. Stays with the Phillies. <laughs> Ashley Fear comes back in. <laughs> inbound. Miller finds Talle and she's going to the line. 
Satiri hasn't been able to find the touch tonight. Hasn't had a lot of opportunities, though. The foul is going to be the second one on Kerry Bungard. Two shots for Talle, and the first one is off the back of the rim and out. Oh, for three from the line now is Talley tonight. Second one. Talley hits that one, her first point tonight. Satiri Talley held scoreless to the 5.09 mark in the fourth quarter. A travel. Hannah Hempfield. The pressure forces the travel. And back in comes Proud, out comes Mia Fuller. 5.05 to go in the fourth quarter. Kylie Miller will be the inbounder. Miller finds Proud. She's got to watch her feet right on, the, right on the half court line. Proud off to Miller. In the corner, Gowder Reese. Skip across, Megan McDonough wide open for three. Short, rebound found by Sarah Proud. She goes up with it and lays it home. Eight points, Sarah Proud tonight. Hempfield, off to Kiefer. Fear, it was tipped by Gaudarisi and right back to Hempfield. 38-30, the Vikings lead Laurel Highlands. Fear, no pressure, she's just gonna step in. Off to Jaworski. Now with Kiefer and Hempfield again. Pressured, Gaudarisi, she spins in the lane, jumper. And she knocks it down. Hannah Hempfield has six points tonight. Miller to Gaudarisi. She'll take the three. Comes up short again. And the rebound find by Kiefer. Ball on the floor. Looking for a tie-up. Timeout. Timeout called by Mount Pleasant and Coach Scott, Gia Scott Giacobbe. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. 4.01 left to go. The Phillies trailing Mount Pleasant 40 to 30 on the South Union Township Sports Network. on the South Union Township Sports Network, 40 to 30. Mount Pleasant Vikings lead the Laurel Highlands Phillies, 4-0-1 to go in the fourth quarter. Fear, she'll be the inbounder from the baseline. She'll find Kiefer, off to Bungard. Bungard pressured, a lot of pressure coming from Gaudarisi and a foul. Called on Kylie Miller. Kylie Miller, that's her third foul. It's going to be the 10th team foul, and in the double bonus go the Mount Pleasant Vikings, so Hannah, he Hannah Hempfield's going to get two. First one for Hempfield. Off the back of the rim, it falls out. Few substitu substitutions for Laurel Highlands. McDonald in, Proud in. Colleen Trainer back in for Mount Pleasant. Second one for Hempfield. She got that one. Hannah Hempfield now seven points tonight. The Vikings lead it by 11, 41, 30. Abby McDonald left open, doesn't take the three. Gives it off to Gaudarisi. Inside, proud at the free throw line. Almost lost it. Regathers herself, finds Gaudarisi. She drives, kick out. Megan McDonald thought about the three, drives inside, over top. A bun guard, and she draws the foul. Third foul on Carrie Bungard tonight. It's going to send Megan McDonald to the free throw line for the first time tonight. She's got three points. Megan 
Hits the first to two. Kylie Miller in, Gianna Johns in. Offense, defense. Coach Ryan Dell pulling out the two girls with four fouls, Abby McDonald and Sarah Proud. Second one, Megan McDonald got that one as well. Five points for the Philly sophomore. Mia Fuller back in, and the pressure put back on by Laurel Highlands. Hempfield will be the inbounder. She finds Jaworski right in the middle, gets it off to Trainer. In the corner, Fear. She'll find Hempfield cutting to the rim, almost lost it, gets it underneath, can't finish, Satiri Talley there for the rebound. Off to Gianna Johns. Johns lost it, on the floor after a tie up. Ball stays with Laurel Highlands. Sarah Proud back in, Abby McDonald back in, Megan McDonald back in. As the offense defense continues for Coach Rydell. Abby McDonald will inbound. She finds her sister Megan. Megan wants three. Too strong. Tipped around. Last touch. Now it stays in play. Hempfield keeps it in. And she'll break the press. Up ahead. Kalp. And Alyssa Kalp looks to spread out the floor. She gets a screen from Kiefer. Kalp in the middle. Trainer fouled by Gaudarisi. Trainer will go to the free throw line. Third foul on Ashley Gaudarisi. Trainer, three of four from the line. And she rolls the first one out. Bungard, she'll come back in and replace Ashley Fear. Second one. Too strong on that one as well. On the box out, Abby McDonald gets the rebound. Up ahead, looking for Talley. She finds her good collection. Kicks it back out, Abby McDonald again. Looks for Gaudarisi cutting. It's taken away by Hempfield. Tie up. Mount Pleasant will get it back. Substitutions now. Johns back in. Miller back in. Fuller back in for Laurel Highlands. 41-32. The Vikings lead it. Inbound with Hannah Hempfield. She finds Trainer almost taken away by Miller. And Johns shook him at the foul. First foul on Gianna Johns tonight. Trainer, she can't hit the first to two. And Mount now makes Trainer three of seven from the line tonight. Second one coming. She can't hit that one either, and Talley finds the rebound. Gaudarisi wants to go quickly. Pressure put on by Kiefer. Gaudarisi going to the rim. Knocked away by Hempfield. Down the floor after it. Gaudarisi. A tie up with Kiefer, and the Phillies will keep it. Back in comes Ashley Fear for Mount Pleasant. She replaces Colleen Trainer. <laughs> McDonald inbounds, Talang, Gaudarisi. Inside, looking for Satiri. Knocked away. Alyssa Kalp, good defense. Gaudarisi knocks it away for a moment from Kiefer. And now Gaudarisi is going to be called for the foul. Fourth foul on Ashley Gaudarisi. And going to the line for two is Gabby Kiefer. Kiefer tonight, five of nine. And she can't hit the first one. Ah! 
Second one. Kiefer, she gets one of two. Ten point lead again for Mount Pleasant. It's 42-32. McDonald picks up her dribble. Off to Gauderisi. McDonald right back to Gauderisi again. In the corner, Megan McDonald. Gauderisi. Thought about going down low to Talley. Skip across. Abby McDonald. Megan in the corner. Pump fakes. Goes inside. Talley the, make that proud of the free throw line. Has it knocked away and taken away by Hannah Hempfield, and she'll slow it up. Alyssa Kalp. Off to Bungard. Right back to Kalp again. In the corner, Bungard. Pressured by Talley. Bungard goes right around her and lays it home. Carrie Bungard, 10 points now. Gautarisi, she wants to go to the rim herself. Throws up the shot, and it drops. 12 points for Ashley Gautarisi, and Coach Ryan calls timeout. 1.16 to go. The Vikings lead it by 10, 44-34. We'll be back on the South Union Township Sports Network. Smith, Lewis, and Chess, financial advisors of Uniontown, would like to wish the Royal Hines Phillies basketball team and their coaches on having a successful season this year. One sixteen to go as we come back on the South Union Township Sports Network. Dan Wallace, Jerry DePay with you. 44-34, the Vikings lead the Phillies here in the fourth quarter. Hempfield inbounds. She finds Alyssa Kalp. Looking to foul now is Laurel Highlands. Pressured, Gianna Johns. And she gets it off to Kiefer, does Kalp in the corner. This is Julianne Kalp, back out to Alyssa Kalp. She'll just hold it. It's Bungard. And now Hart, uh, Hempfield. And she's going to be fouled. Mia Fuller will be there to commit it. Second foul on Mia Fuller, and she'll send Hannah Hempfield right back to the free throw line. Hempfield is three of six from the stripe tonight. She has seven points. And she knocks home the first one. Proud, McDonald and McDonald back into the game. Second one. Hemfield, she got them both. 12-point lead, 46-34 with 55 seconds to go for Mount Pleasant. Proud, she'll take the jumper. Doesn't go, and the rebound found by Hemfield. Proud there to meet her on the press. And a foul. Sarah Proud, that's her fifth. No, they're going to save Sarah Proud the foul. And it's going to be a timeout called by Mount Pleasant. 42.5 to go. The Vikings, they lead it 46-34. A big section matchup for both of these teams as... If Mount Pleasant is able to hold on here, they will move to 13 and 7 overall on the season, 10 and 2 in the section and put a stranglehold on that second spot. The Phillies, they will drop with a loss to 10 and 10 overall on the season and 6 and 5 in section 3 of AAA play. Derry, they are the leaders in this section. The other team who has locked up a playoff bid out of Section 3 already is Greensburg-Salem in that fourth spot. <laughs> Biggest problem for Laurel Highlands tonight, Satiri Talley. She got into foul trouble early, and she's been held to just one point. That one point coming from the free throw line here in the fourth quarter. Field on the inbound. She gets it right back. 40 seconds to go. 
and brings it across midcourt. Trap, Bochnak, McDonald to McDonald there. Bungard, she'll tuck it away. Trapped again, and Gaudarisi gets a steal. Ashley comes ahead quickly. Over to Abby McDonald. Megan in the corner, she wants a triple. Comes up short, Talle gets the rebound. McDonald finds it. She goes up with it and Abby scores. Four points tonight for Abby McDonald and Coach Rydell. We'll call timeout with 13.5 to go. It's a 10 point lead for the Mount Pleasant Vikings. Leading scorer tonight for the Laurel Highlands Phillies, Ashley Gaudarisi. She has 12 points. Kylie Miller, she has chipped in four. Abby McDonald's got four. Sarah Proud with eight. Satiri Talley just that one. Melissa Bochnak with two. And Megan McDonald has five. On the other side from Mount Pleasant, it's Gabby Kiefer with ten points. Three for Colleen Trainer. Hannah Hempfield, she has nine. Alyssa Kalp has 11. Carrie Bungard with 10. Julianne Kalp chipped in one from the free throw line. And a pair of free throws for Chloe Jaworski. That's the scoring so far as with 13 seconds left to go, the Vikings, they lead it by 10. A tough senior night for the Laurel Highlands Phillies. It'll be Mount Pleasant ball coming out of the timeout. Hemfield, she can run the baseline. Inbounds, Julianne Kalp. And she'll bring it across midcourt, pressured by Bochnak. In the corner goes to Alyssa Kalp. She'll pull it back out. And she can just dribble out this clock. One second, that'll do it. The Mount Pleasant Vikings, they win it 46-36. A big win for Mount Pleasant over the Laurel Highlands Phillies. Tonight's game was brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring township supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband, Armstrong Cable, and our friends at CUTV, J.R. Wheeler, Gary Smith, and their staff. I'm Dan Wallace with Jerry DePay. This has been another South Union Township Sports Network presentation.